guys, welcome to Daddy Dice Crafty Corner. Today I'm sharing with you the oh so inspired collaboration piece for February 2019. This piece came to us from Pinterest and is a tag with pockets created by Tracy Evans. You can find the link below. I My inspiration for this piece was definitely the tag itself. Um, I had never made a pocket, you know, a pocket tag like that before, and I thought, oh, fun, so let me give it a try. I went with a standard size large um, tag, and then I cut it into three different sizes. So I had a base and then my slanted tags and to do that I just used my trimmer and did it corner to corner and slipped off the edges and made them so that it would tear down into those two different pockets. Um, for my piece I used Nina 110 pound Desert Storm and I'm going to be pairing on top of that a few pieces of paper from a Prima pad that I had in my stash. So my color theme for this project was going to be peaches, like a peachy pink mint kind of theme is what I was going for. So I'm going to be adding paper to all three of my tag pieces. And right now I'm just trying to figure out which orientation I'm going to want it to go. I knew I wanted to have a couple of lighter pieces and then my peachier one in the middle. And I knew that that peach pink of paper, uh, peachy kind of tag paper that's on my desk was going to be an actual tag piece that I would be cutting out and using for one of the pockets. So to get this, all I'm doing to get my paper ready, all I'm going to do is just trim the paper down to the size of the tag widthwise. And then for the lengthwise, I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. So I'm going to cut the paper. I'm going to glue it on with my art glitter glue and then just trim the pieces that I don't need from the tag. So I want to make sure that this bow on this sheet of paper is kind of in the middle because that bow is going to be where I'm going to be placing a heart later on. So I'd wanted this to go sideways and run up and down the long way of my tag. So that's the way I trimmed it. I'm just rubbing in the glue and then I'll take a pair of scissors and trim off the excess pieces. And then I will move along to um, the other two tags. So what I've done is I've chosen three sheets of paper. I'm not gonna have you sit here and go through this whole thing while I pick out the rest of the papers. I'll kind of speed forward to that and then catch you up once I get all the pieces in place. I'm going to take a sander though and sand down all the edges of each piece to my tag once I get my papers on there. Just kind of rough it up, soften up the papers, and then one of my, the last steps that I'm going to do is take some distressed ink in Victorian Rose and um, edge the edges of each piece of the tag as well as the final tag all the way around the edges. So the little pieces that I insert into my tag will be edged as well as the tag itself and that's going to give it more of a pinky peachy tone um, to the entire tag. Okay so again adding these pieces and then we're going to jump forward and the tag will be done. Okay, so we've got all of the pieces done at this point, and I decided to flip that one tag pocket around in a different direction. I just thought it would give it a little more character, a little pop of flair with the diagonals going in a separate direction. So I think it's super cute. Look how thick this tag is. It is legitimately as thick as a big piece of chipboard. Turned out fantastic. Now to get my tag together, I used an eighth of an inch double-sided tape. This is super strong tape. It's gonna hold this tag indefinitely. I don't have to worry about that. As you can see, as I'm pulling on the pocket, it is super, super sturdy. So I've added that to every edge and then applied it to the tag. I've also added a um, hole to the center with a hole punch and I've rounded the corners on each on the top piece of my tag as well as the little inserts for each of my tags. So I've got a square bottom and a rounded top going all the way down. 
Now for the two tags that are going to be inserted into the pocket, I'm going to be leaving those blank. I'm not going to be putting anything on them just yet because I'm not sure where the tag's going to end up. But each one of those tags has been cut, has had a hole put in it with a slanted hole punch or a, um, a straight hole punch. I wanted to differ the holes that were in the tags as well. Okay, so I have done that. I'm going to be adding a piece of ribbon um, to each of the little inserts. As you can see, it's tied into a bow. And then on the very top, I've added all of my different color ribbons that match my paper to the top to give it a really romantic feel. I've cut out a peachy pink heart and I'm going to be gluing that down as my focal point on the top of my tag. So I wanted my papers and my ribbons to really shine, but I did want there to be a focal image on the front of my tag. And I chose that to be a heart and a couple of butterflies. So I've cut a heart, a heart shape that's just a little bit bigger than what I'm going to need for the tag. And I'm going to be trimming it off on the right hand side again, just to give this a little more interest. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it down. And then I will be adding um, a butterfly shape. Now I chose the butterfly because the butterfly has kind of the same shape as the heart. And I thought that would give like a three layered to my project here. So I'm going to be adding a more peachier color to the bottom part on top of the pink color heart and I'm going to curl the edges. This is a solid butterfly by the way and I'm going to be um, just curling the edges with a pencil and then popping this up in the center so the wings come out a little bit and putting it right in the middle of my heart where the little peak comes down into the heart. Then I've taken a lace butterfly and I'm going to be just folding that in half, adding a little bit of glue and sitting that so we can see part of the butterfly body on the top and the bottom of this butterfly. Now in retrospect, that's not going to matter because I'm going to be covering up the body with one of these little rosette, one of these fabric rosettes. So I've trimmed out one of these and it's in a bright coral color. And I thought this color, although was in the same family as the other colors that I used, was an offset kind of bright focal point to the center of these butterflies. And I think that it's showing up on camera here just a little stronger than it really is in person. So I'm hoping the final photographs will um, let you see that a little bit better. So as I said, my tags are going to be plain, but in the middle tag, I'm adding a little stick pin that has a heart in it. Again, just to add a little something extra and give it just a little more dimension. And I think this turned out so stinking cute. It's so adorable. All right, so stay tuned to the end to see the close-ups of it. And don't forget that you can see everybody else's project in the link below, as well as go and visit our host, who is Alicia, call me Crafty Owl, and visit her as well. And don't forget that if you would like to play along, all you've got to do is make a project that you were inspired by the picture that I showed you in the beginning, and use the hashtag you'll find below, and we will come and look at your um, your uptake or your YouTube video on this and we will show you some social love as well. And don't forget, Alicia is going to be picking somebody to join in our collaboration in a few months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what you create. I love you and have a great day. Bye.